according to the G, I don't know, Joe. Okay. <laughs> it's been referred to as commentator, political commentator. He said the petitions of Atiku and Obi will be thrown out by the presidential election petition tribunal. Mm. He still insisted that they will be thrown out. Uh, of course, now maybe because of a what Nigerians have been experiencing or what Nigerians, I would like to say, what Nigerians have been insinuating. <laughs> yes, on Wednesday, they just blasted those who believe in the Labour Party chairman's statement of the ruling party preparing for a possible rerun. Record that a divided opposition, party PDP and Labour Party who lost the presidential election fair and square to President Tinubu are currently a, a united at the petition tribunal seeking to nullify his victory. And I have said it that this boy that calls himself a DJ Adinyaju is just saying that a united or divided. The process of INEC, he has never even mentioned it. He, they lost. He has never mentioned it. Hmm. Of course, what he's still hammering on is that a, the petition is going to be, they're going to be thrown out because he's not the judge. Hmm. I am one of, I am the one that said the petitions of both Atiku and Obi, your debit gods will be thrown out and there is nothing you can do about it except just cry. I didn't you added. You see, is, he, is this one a really commentator, political commentator you need to listen to, see some people will cry. No, if really you are a good a political commentator, maybe you are just a, a divider, that's just the way I see it. People will cry. Are you not crying? No, you you are telling people to to keep their dollar. No, be cry you did so. Now you are telling that nobody is going to be giving anybody money. People are to hustle because of the situation of this country. No, you are not crying. No, you are not crying. If you are a real commentator, are you supposed to be speaking in this manner? <laughs> Can you imagine? A wasted human being. Bitter truth, articulate and obedient will call for your head for telling them this truth. Which truth are you guys talking about? You see, I don't think Nigeria should even be talking, be thinking about a who won or who did not win. Whether anything going on in the court, at the end of the day, you will get the result. What you are supposed to be concerned about is how your life is going to be better because you are going through a lot of stress in your life as far as this economy that Buhari or Tinumbu has brought poverty upon. But no, majority of you want to, maybe want to go into crime. That is the reason. Or you are, yeah, yes, that's why you are having such confidence. Fair and square, Nigerians are not convinced. And it will be for a long term. Where all your gra, -gra is too much. Article that is even second on the list didn't see anything. Will be bluntly lost, woefully. I beg, go sit down. Jari Tinubu will use it, yes, for sure. Tinubu didn't win any election. For the fact that Atiku and Kwakwansu contested that election, destroyed Tinubu's chances of winning. The Northern Muslim vote was shared. That was why Tinubu lost. Please tell it to their ears. Tinubu won landslide. Obi lost woefully. Obi came distanted. Obi should stop this leading his gullible. What is your problem? It's misleading. Let him mislead his, his gullible and let him fail in court. Let it whatever. Concern yourself. You know that he did not win. You shouldn't even be bothering yourself. The man that you say you have put there, the Obi losing in court is what is more concerned to you than the one you said he won that is there has not even made, made meaningful changes or meaningful plans for you. So what are you talking about? Why should you be bothered whether Obi is going to lose or he's not going to lose? Is that a problem? At least you already have a somebody who is there who you think he won. The person should be doing your bidding. That, that's what you should even be concerned. You should concern yourself with. Throwing out the petitions of Article and Obi just like that we spell disaster. I know they will attack you. Mm -hmm. You know they attack others. Does he have inside man in the presidential election tribunal that gives him information? You have sense, okay? Trust any Yoruba to your own peri. Because your stupid father is the, th is the chief judge of Nigeria, Abi. Mm -mm, that should not even be. See, eh? If, if I were Tinubu supporters, or Ubi, Ubi, any of the uh, Tinubu 
whether APC supporters, he was he should, he shouldn't be once you are so confident. He, all this is a, you know this to the talk about him. What is happening to you and your family members in terms of a uh, feeding yourself, in terms of getting it right, in terms of living in a conducive environment? That is what you should be talking. Why you bother yourself about uh, whether some cases will be thrown in and out? You should be jubilating and be rejoicing because the man who is there is going to be. It's, it's making things, you're making your life better. That is what, not somebody who has not even won. Somebody has won, according to INEC. Somebody has won. And the person is, should be, you should, you should be eager to see what the person, how your life will be changing. But unfortunately, your life has, it's been, it's been miserable since Tinubu came on board. And those are the things you are supposed to concern yourself with. Not what uh, somebody is saying or you fighting. Just because of your selfish nature of interest, you will not get it. Whatever you are looking for, you will not get it. Mm. This same uh, Dejade Yonju once said Peter B won't be able to win two states. DD, not in the corner, which is the bedrock of Nigeria votes. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, the corner votes that was shared between Atiku Tinumbu and Kwakwansu. Tinumbu came third in this election. So he won more than two seats. Is that what make Obi image the winner? No, that's why he said people should not even be taking this uh, adding your serious. So guys, let's say your opinion and let I know what you think.